Here's a little comparison of linen stiffened with various gums to make 18th century linen buckram and how the various gums work. So I have um, linen stiffened with gum arabica, which is a gum that was definitely used um, for textile purposes in the 18th century. So it's probably totally accurate for um, buckram making, although not absolutely documented. Um, linen stiffened with gum tragacanth, uh, which is accurate for buckram making. Um, and linen stiffened with xanthan gum, which is definitely not accurate. Xanthan gum is a 20th century invention. Um, and then I also have samples of my two main linens unstiffened here so you can see what they look like. So um, if we look at the first linen, I only have this one done in gum arabica and xanthan gum. This was an incredibly sheer soft lightweight linen and you can see how it's now basically as stiff as paper. I would say the gum tragacanth is may sorry, xanthan gum, this is xanthan gum, is maybe just the tiniest bit stiffer. Then moving on to the next sample. This was a soft, lightweight, light um, linen from the fabric store in New Zealand. You can see how soft and light it is. Here it is stiffened with gum arabica. It's now paper stiff. And here it is stiffened with xanthan gum, also paper stiff, a little bit more mottling to the color um, and less smooth in how it dried. Uh, the next sample is a very tightly woven midweight linen and you can see how beautifully tightly woven it is. This is a vintage linen, hard to get linens like this these days. Um, and so here it is, stiffened with gum arabica. Here it is stiffened with gum tragacanth. This is definitely the softest of the stiffeners. And here it is stiffened with xanthan gum. And then for my very last piece, I have a heavy linen denim, heavy twill weave linen. Here it is stiffened with gum arabica. You can see how beautifully stiff it is and solid. Now this is stiffened with gum tragacanth, but I only had a small amount of gum tragacanth, so it's just stiffened on this half of it. So you can see that half stiffness, and then over here we can see the original linen and how limp it was, and you can see it just falls if I hold it, or at that side it holds stiff until the point at which I run out of gum tragacanth. And here is xanthan gum. Um, so I would say in terms of stiffness, xanthan gum is the heaviest, followed by gum arabica, and gum tragacanth is the lightest. Now, in terms of how these are going to last, gum tragacanth will probably last the best as it's most water resistant, followed by gum arabica, um, which also has water resistant properties, but not nearly as much, so it will get a little soften as you basically body warmth and moisture. Um, and xanthan gum will be the most reactive and the quickest to wash out. Now for all of these samples, I cut the squares at exactly 20 centimeters square, and there's 20 centimeters lined up on my board, and I cut the rectangles at 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters, and I've checked all of these and there is no shrinking on any of my samples across three different types of stiffening. Other people have reported shrinking in their tragacanth, I mean in their buckram sampling, but I have not been able to replicate that myself for me. You put the stiffener on and it comes out the same size. So I hope that was interesting.